Hello viewers, welcome to Elink TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your teacher is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we inform to lesson 21. The topic is crop production 3. It deals with methods of grafting and also we will discuss on the subtopic on area of importance of budding and grafting. On to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, the runner should be able to, number one, outline the methods of grafting, and number two, explain the importance of budding and grafting as applied during crop uh, production. Then we have uh, the method of grafting. The first one we have the whip grafting. And uh, in this case, the zion and the rootstock of the same uh, diameter are united. As you can see, it is well uh, demonstrated on the diagram there. Uh, then uh, the second type of grafting, we have cleft grafting. And in this case, uh, a vertical cut or cleft is made on the rootstock where the zion is uh, pushed in, in and wrapped into with, together with the rootstock. Root and then the grafting uh, uh, band is tied uh, uh, around the union. Then the next type is side, side grafting. And in side grafting, you can see it is done at the side of the, uh, the rootstock. Uh, that is where we, uh, that it is done, especially when the diameter of the rootstock is bigger than the diameter of the zion. The zion is the part of the uh, part that develops into a shoot. Uh, then the fourth one we have bar grafting, uh, a vertical cut about three centimeters uh, to five centimeters in length uh, is made on the back of a rootstock. Then a scion is inserted, ins is inserted and firmly held by the use of nails. That is what we refer to as bark uh, grafting. Then we have the fifth one, we have notch uh, grafting. In this case, uh, this is done to a plant with a diameter larger than 10 centimeters. It involves cutting a notch on the back of the rootstock and a zion is inserted onto the rootstock and wrapped. Uh, remember the importance of wrapping it is to facilitate the union to become successful or to help the union to become successful. Then work is applied to prevent entry of air and water because if air and water gets in, it will lead to uh, fermentation and therefore the union will not be successful. And uh, the second one we have, the next one we have the approaching grafting. Uh, in this case, it involves uh, two independent plants growing uh, near each other or adjacent to one another and whose shoots uh, are bent uh, such that they cross at, uh, at contact point and therefore on crossing point they are held together with a later, uh, which later grow and form a union. And therefore after healing, one of the plant is cut uh, below the union uh, to form the zion. Then uh, we have the importance of budding and grafting. The first one, it is possible to produce more than one type of roots on the same uh, rootstock. For instance, you can use a rootstock of, um, uh, of uh, lemon and at the same plant, the, 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 you can end up having uh, the zion uh, of uh, orange and also the other side, you can have still uh, the orange, uh, the long lemons and oranges on the same uh, rootstock. And then the second uh, importance, it makes it possible to combine different plants with the desirable or desired characteristic to get uh, together uh, so that you can produce high quality products. The third one, there are increased yield. It will lead to high uh, yield or increase in production. The fourth one, facilitate change of fruit uh, to better ones. For example, uh, you can use a root stock of um, uh, lemon uh, to obtain uh, tangerines, uh, that which is a better quality uh, fruit uh, compared to the, the, the lemon. Then we have uh, bud, uh, budded and grafted fruits mature area. Uh, it means that they have uh, a, a fast growth rate compared to uh, those uh, fruits which are planted through uh, seed by uh, uh, using the, the seed. Then number six, we have facilitated production of trees that are disease resistant and hardy plant. 
it means that um, these plants which are uh, grafted or uh, which are budded, it means that the plant will be resistant to high temperature and therefore they will not be affected by a high temperature because they are hardy plant. We have come to the end of today's lesson, but I am going to leave you uh, some questions in form of assignment. Number one, we have give two reasons for raising kale uh, seedlings in the nursery uh, before transplanting. And number two, differentiate between pricking out and transplanting. Then the third one, give the differences between budding and transplanting. Uh, then uh, for reference, you can refer from Secondary Agriculture Student Book 2, uh, the publisher, we have the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, if you would like to clarify something from us, or if you would like uh, uh, to know something from us, you can reach us through the following uh, contacts. The first one, SMS, using the number which is well displayed for you. The second one, YouTube at Elim TV. Uh, the third one, we have Facebook platform at uh, Elim TV. And the fourth one, you can use the Twitter, you can tweet us at Elim TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Uh, stay, please stay tuned till next lesson. Goodbye.